and Pacific, Pacific, Arctic, and Antarctic Ocean. So let's get those labels. Claire Masaryk has been a Montessori teacher for more than 30 years, teaching in multi-grade, multi-aged classrooms to students who have exhibited a keen interest in learning and discovery. The main um, aspect of the Montessori philosophy is to encourage children to be self-directed, independent learners. So a big portion of our day uh, centers around individual work time, which involves goals which the children set. And they, they are required to have goals in language arts, mathematics, social studies, and science. Named after its founder, Maria Montessori, more than 100 years ago, the program offers students a distinct alternative to mainstream education. It emphasizes goal setting and independence. Students can choose to work on their own, or in groups, and at their own pace. Uh, well, while Montessori isn't for every student, I find that uh, some of the benefits are that it enables the children to um, make choices, they often become very involved in their learning because they have chosen to pursue that. So for instance, topics for doing a report or a PowerPoint are not assigned but chosen. Uh, there are lots of hands-on materials, so it enables the children to do a lot of moving as they learn as well, so that it, it just keeps them actively engaged. We're, look, we're working on the Big Bang Theory, and this is what we wrote so, so far who understand how our planet was created. You have to look into space. The Fleetwood Bodden is the only school south of Calgary that offers grade 1 to 5 Montessori programming. Currently, there are just over 100 students enrolled, with numbers increasing every year. Parents pay no additional fees, as is a part of the public school system. Principal Karen Rancier says Montessori meets all educational standards and curriculum objectives and fits into the philosophy of public education. Well, this is one of those programs that meets needs of specific students again. So we've got lots of programs in our district that meet individual student needs and this is another way to offer um, something special to students who fit this program very, very well. This is my group of grade four and five kids. They're all working on different things right now. Um, some are doing math with Montessori materials and manipulatives. Um, others are doing math with non-Montessori materials and manipulatives. And some are working on social and language arts at the moment. For some students in Jackie Fletcher's grade four or five class, this is the final year of their Montessori experience. Most have been in the program since grade one and are now being prepared for their transition to the more traditional mainstream programming they'll see next year in the middle school. Speaking to former parents, the kids have not had have any trouble um, going into middle school. The biggest challenge for them has been getting used to homework, which we as a school don't really push on the kids. Their homework for us is to keep on reading and to improve in that way. Proponents of the Montessori philosophy say the program works best for children who are naturally curious, who thrive on learning, and who can set and meet goals. We like to think that we have set the foundation for students as lifelong learners, independent learners, uh, engaged learners, um, curious learners that will carry them through the rest of their school life.